probably the most remarkable story in the history of sports with his, uh, his accident and the way he's come back and his attitude through the entire thing and how he plays golf now after all that he's been through is it's phenomenal really it truly is i think that he's got a great chance um, especially if his health continues to improve the way that it is and his strength is coming back he seems to be almost a hundred percent from what i can tell um it's a hundred percent is as much as he can be obviously with the amputee and whatnot, but uh, watching him play around here and hearing the scores that he shoots around here, I, I think he has a great chance. His short game has always been phenomenal. Uh, it, he's rivaled uh, Seve Ballesteros and he, as the best ever possibly on the PGA Tour as far as being able to manipulate the golf ball around the green and his up and down prowess. and. Uh, his sand play has, has always been phenomenal. All I can tell you is if Ken Green has the lead, he's not going to give it up. That's for sure. He's, uh, he's a very, very strong competitor, uh, has total belief in himself, and when his game is on and he's playing well, he, he can't be beat. Even with one and a half legs? Even with one and a half legs. I totally believe that. There's no doubt about it. If, when he gets back out there, and he's contending, he will, he will be a contender. At the time of his accident, he had status and he, I, he should have it back. In my opinion, without question, they should. He's, he's, the, he's, he's a sports story, he's a golf story. I mean, I don't know why any tournament wouldn't want Ken Green in their event. See, because the difference between me and a lot of, quote, professionals is I love golf still. I, you know, golf is my hobby. Golf is my number one joy. You know, it was my, you know, job also, but it was never a job. And the, this concept that these players say that, oh, it's my job, I don't, you know, enjoy it. I just don't think you can achieve whatever your max is meant to be. If you don't love what you're doing, how can you achieve the max? I have two main goals. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you and sit here and tell you that I don't think I could pull the, you know, the, the rabbit out of the hat. I honestly think I could win again. I know everything has to go right, but it's happened before. You know, people out of nowhere have won that no one ever thought they might win. And you know, so why can't I, on the right golf course, in the right conditions, I could get hot for that three-day stretch or four-day stretch. That's my personal selfish little goal. And then my other goal, which is, is the main reason I'm, I haven't put a bullet in my head, is to try to do something good with everything that's happened in my life. I mean, it's, it's been an unbelievable road, but why not do something good with it? So if I can make something better, whether it's a, a kid who's had a problem or a wounded warrior, uh, or just somebody who's struggling himself with personal problems, whatever it may be. If I can give them a little bit of a boost, then, then that's, that's a good thing. We were going from Austin, Texas, back home to Greensboro with my, uh, my wife, my brother, and my uh, German Shepherd Nip. All I can remember was hearing this big pop, which was the tire that had blown off the front right. Billy and, and Jeannie and Nip were killed uh, immediately, evidently. I must have woken up. Uh, I don't remember that because I ended up going through the windshield. All I remember after that is, is waking up in the hospital and uh, my sister was there, and I was looking at her. And I'm like, "Well, what are you doing here? And you know, what's going on?" And you know, she then lost it. <laughs> I think it was two days later. Uh, they came to me and said, "Listen, here are our options. You know, you're either going to have a, a 
you know, 10, 15 different surgeries, and the best you're gonna be able to do with this leg is just kind of bring it with you. Uh, and before I even gave him any other options, I said, we need to cut it. I, because my thought was, I'll never be able to play golf if I can just drag my leg. You know, I'll, I'll put something down there and I'll figure out a way how to play golf. Now, uh, you know, six months later, my son died. And, you know, that one hurts. It, uh, and this, I don't mean this to sound like it, it may sound, I mean, but, you know, accidents happen and, you know, I'm in my 50s, okay, my, you know, Jeannie's gone, Billy's gone, all right, I can live that, but you just, you just don't think you're gonna lose your kid. You know, and, and it, uh, that was, that was a rough one to handle, but, you know, I, I went back to, I've got to do something, I've got to do something good, and this is what I'm going to do, and, and so I've been staying with that goal ever since. He's been a pretty, pretty awesome mentor and friend, and just kind of, like, it, we're just friends, and he just happens to give me awesome information just based on his experience, and so it's been fun getting to know him. Just, I prayed a couple months ago for somebody to come into my life who would be a PGA Tour winner, and randomly just he came in so it's like it's just awesome you know it's like so I'm just trying to enjoy it and just take take as, as much as I can from it he's selfless he, you know he just he cares which is kind of cool genuine very genuine um, and from everybody that I've talked to, all his friends, you know, they're always feeding me information like, Kenny is a, such an amazing guy, and he is. I mean, he's been through a lot, and so he it's just, it's tough um, for what he's gone through. But uh, through that, I mean, he just displays so much selflessness, and that's hard to do, I mean, because it's very easy to just kind of get into yourself in situations like that. And so he's, I think he has a really good heart, and so I'm fortunate to be able to hang out with him. First time I play with him, I'm like, okay, I'm playing with this guy. You know, he's gone through an accident. What am I? You know, how am I? And he beats me. He shot like 68 or 69. The same thing the next time. You know, he shoots 68, 69, and it's like it doesn't even matter that there's a leg missing. To be honest, I mean, he's handling it really well. Um, I think he's seeking the right guidance as far as physically what he needs to do, and he's just moving forward, taking taking the bumps, taking the hits, and just moving forward. And I think it's gonna. I would love to see him win on the Champions Tour, that would be awesome. I like that goal. He never really expressed that to me verbally, but I don't know why, you know, <laughs> I'm glad you told me. <laughs> you think it's realistic? I don't doubt it. I do think it's realistic, yeah. I've made a commitment that for the next two years, my goal is to try to play in a new city. You know, maybe seven or eight, nine events this year, and another nine or so the following year. Because there are tons of people that have never heard of Ken Green much less the Ken Green story of everything that's happened in his life and why he is still, you know, insistent on trying to, you know, play professional golf and tell his story. So that's my hope and that's what my plan is and that's what I'm going to do. And I'm, I've just told myself no matter how bad this gets pain-wise, I'm, I'm going to do it.